Today we are going to demonstrate how to find the height of a tall structure using trigonometry. We are going to find the height of Northwest College in Edmonton, Alberta. The tools we are going to use are the clinometer and the tape measure. We also have a diagram where we will record our measurements and we have a blueprint of the building that will allow us to verify our findings. Choose a tall object such as a building, a tree, or a flagpole you cannot measure directly. From the base of the object, mark a reasonable distance to take the sighting. Measure and record the distance. Take the sighting by looking through the straw of the clinometer to the top of the object. We need to renumber our clinometer so that the appropriate angle of inclination is displayed. Record the angle of inclination, otherwise known as the angle of elevation. Measure the height from the ground to the eye level of the partner who took the sighting. This is the height of the clinometer above the ground. Measure and record the distance. Use your measurements to calculate the height of the object. Let's use the measurements to calculate the height of the Norquest building now. Angle of inclination, 68 degree. Height of the clonometer, 1.65 meter. Distance of sighting, 14.6 meter. And tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Theta is angle of inclination, which is 68 degree. Tangent 68 equals to x over 14.6. x is the height from the clonometer to the top of the building. In order to isolate x, multiply 14.6 on both sides of the equation. Therefore, x is equal to approximately 36.14 meter. So in order to calculate the total height of the Norquest building, we need to add height of the clinometer, which is 1.65. Therefore, the total height of the building is approximately 38 meters. 